Hello, and here we are in Valencia, Spain. It's February uh, 12, 13, and we'll continue our video class now, a new Tokubetsu, a short Tokubetsu on the Shizen culture and our own methods. In this case, we'll talk about Shinken uh, Shira Hadori uh, Tetsuto. Tetsu comes, comes from the verb to disarm, to take his weapon off, uh, even to dismantle him and uh, to comes from sword. So in this case is a particular study, which is or a method, we can say, uh, from more school, from more lineage, uh, in which uh, particularly his, his shinken flies away from his hand. It's also known, uh, it's also very characteristic, because uh, the tori always ends with the wakizashi over uh, the wakizashi's edge, or kisaki over uke's neck. So let's see, for example, if he enters a Mako, always with an Atemi to take the power off, or to, to take off his, his power, and then always finding an angle in which it's easy for me to take the sword off him, and always in an angle in which the points are uh, exposed, and I have a favorable angle to keep my next technique, in this case, straight downward violently to the, to the ground, We should note that this kind of pressure or this kind of hit on the ground and on the tatami mat are two very different things and this should be done trying to smash or to, uh, to cause a fracture on the enemy. So as you can see, let's see to the other side, you know, other example, trying to break his, his ribs, the tip of his ribs, it's a very uh, sensitive area. And uh, from here, one more time, even if he holds strong, uh, even if we do not consider the, the huge amount of damage of an Atemi wall put like this, we have this angle which takes the center of him and uh, the sword from him as well. And there are also timing variations, for example, here I have a timing in which I can uh, perform nearly an IUG, although this is a point of view from today, because that was this, this deeper study of timing was not something which was uh, typical for that time, for that age, but now, seen from more point of views, suppose I couldn't reach him at the time, I could still kneel down protecting myself, and uh, hitting the inner part of both his arms, like this, opening his arm, and one more time, in such an angle that it is difficult for him to still hold the katana. So having both his arms restrained first and then So these are some examples of the method and of the kind of study we were just talking in which uh, the Shizen people, they found a way, they found means to disarm the enemy and uh, have his katana flying off from his hands. Thank you very much.